So, well, how are we everybody? What a weekend I've had. Working, making videos. I would like to have taken some time off. But oh my goodness, I was just handed content after content after content on a plate and it was great. It was great. It was great to put stuff to bed. It was great to move on from things. It was great to get a bit of clarity and uh, and uh, and it was great to just to actually know and understand that I am literally a part of history. Right here, right now, me and the team, John and Logan and Kelly, Mick and Visa and Butch, Lorna and Chris, all these people, all the people that have been supporting us, all you people that have been supporting us, Chris Spree, Danielle, you know, all these people, John Benson, I mean, so many names, isn't there? Rebecca and uh, Macintosh, so many people, but, you know. All of you do not realise this. You, you really don't comprehend what I'm saying to you. And that puts me in a, in a bit of a sort of a quandary, difficult position, because it's like, oh, they're just not understanding me. But on the other hand, it puts me in such a privileged position because it's like, oh my God, I understand something and there's a lot of people not getting it, but I do. If you could put everything that's happened regarding the mint and one thing and another and to agree with me and all of that. If you could put all of that and go back 50 years, we would be reading about that now. It would be in the books now. We would be reading about what had happened. But it's not. It's happening now. And you are part of this. You're part of it. A lot of you, your names will go down in history. And you think I'm talking out my backside. Some of you are going, ha, 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 what a lemon, what a lemon, what a cut. No. But actually, you know, I don't think I'm wrong. And I tell you why I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong because on the power of what we have done, the Royal Mint has done a U-turn this morning. As of this morning, they're out of the tills. We've got that in a recorded conversation. The news is filtering out there to other people, but as of this morning, they are no longer in the tills. Now, here's the thing. I've got supporters out there, I've got people sitting on the fence out there, and I've got haters out there, and I've got people that just don't like me, and all this marmite effect on one thing or another. Okay, I get it, all of that. So do you. Let's move beyond that a bit, right? So let's agree, we've got all of those people out there, supporters, haters, not likers, non-supporters, fence sitters, all of those people out there. Together with a bit of subliminal advertising, here's the thing. Every single one of you and I mean this without a fact, every single one of you, right? Every single one of you that are interested in the 10 Ps, interested in finding them, interested in wanting them, interested in selling them, interested in collecting them. Every single solitary one of you, whether you like it or not, I, we, all, me, them, Mick, but all of us, all of these people involved in our team, we have done you a favour. Whether you like it or not, it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. We've done you a favour and you can't take that away from us. Even the people that hate my guts, you can't take that away from us. We just did you a favour. Because we have stopped the Royal Mint monopolising the tills and uh, monopolising the market for themselves in a private gain of coins that they make themselves. They've admitted to making the coins themselves that they put inside their tills at their own expense. Not paid for, not asked for from the treasury. 
That is making copies. That's making coins that nobody asked for or wanted. Not wanted in our economy. If they were wanted in our economy, the Treasury would have asked for them. If the Treasury wanted 230,000 of every letter made, they would have asked for 230,000. If they wanted 232,500, they would have asked for 32,500. But they didn't. They didn't ask for that many. Doesn't matter what you think about me. Doesn't matter what you think about what I do. You cannot take that away. It's unco We've uncovered that. We have done that. Nobody else out there has been blowing this trumpet for a long time. We've been doing that. I've been doing that. Uncovered it. And proven... Oh, proven to be right. Proven to be right. So quickly. How quickly have they folded? Less than a week after knowing that that video was there and talking to me on the phone, they've not phoned me back and they've taken them out of their tills. Excuse me. And yet their official statement says that essentially their official statement is them telling everybody that they can do what they please. And they put it, they were stupid enough to put it in writing. They've literally said to everybody, we can do what I please. We, yeah, we buy them off the treasury before they go on the lorry. We go to the bank and post office like everybody else and we make them ourselves at our own expense and bung them in our tills to support our shop. They've put it in writing. So every single one of you, even the people that support us, you're happy. The people that don't support us, the people that don't like me, I've just done you a favour. And you can now dislike me even more for doing you a favour. Why have I done you a favour? Because I've stopped them in doing it. Stopped them in their tracks doing it. They are no longer doing it as of today. That means every single week, thousands, thousands every week are going back into circulation the way they should do. And I never said when I was rinsing the mince tills and all the rest of it, I'm right, I'm justified, blah, blah, blah. I know, no, what I said was, I shouldn't be allowed to do it. No one should be allowed to do it. I did it, highlighting it. I did it and I'd do it again. And if I lived closer, I'd have been down there every day doing it. I'd have forced them to stop it earlier, or I'd have had tens of thousands out of there myself, just to prove it. But now they've stopped. Pardon me. Thanks, Ian. Now they've stopped. So all you people out there that, that, that left comments, on the one hand, quite rightly slating me off, I, I don't argue with that, because it is a different debate, right? So on the one hand, those of you that were slating me off in the comments, going, you shouldn't have done that at the mint, you shouldn't have rinsed the tills and all the rest of it, and there is a part of me that agrees with you, by the way. Just done you a favour. I've just stopped it from ever happening again. That will never happen again. I'll tell you what will never happen again also. They ain't going to put the 50p's in their tills and the £2 coins in their tills that they've been doing for some time. They ain't going to be able to do that either. It is interfering with the economy. There is. It's, no matter what you want to do, you talk, talk about it how you like, debate it how you like, and please have this conversation with each other, with your wives and families. Have this conversation. If the Treasury did not ask for them, then what are they? Because the Treasury doesn't want them, don't want them in our, in our money, doesn't want them in circulation, have not asked for them, are not paying for them. Therefore, what are they? They have to be copies. They are nothing else but carbon copies. And that is a copyright issue. They're copies. And they are being put, they are made the same legal quality. And that is their biggest mistake. They never made any bunts. They'd have made bunts, they could have given them away. Nobody could have done any different. But they didn't, they made legal tender quality. They did not make any bunts. Even though we have photographs and some of you, please send them to me, photographs of the barcodes where and the adverts where they sold you bunts coins. They, there never was any bunts 10p's. Never made a single one. And that's part of me, and that's where they went wrong. Because they've made them, so they've made them legal quality. It's the same quality that you get in a mixed bag in the bank. It's no different. So therefore, they've made copies because they've made more than what the treasury wanted, and they have put those copies 
into the teals. Subliminal advertising. You see? Now, you can put all sorts of connotations, arguments and twists and turns on that all you like. But I defy you to come up with another plausible explanation of what you want to determine those coins to be. The Treasury hasn't asked for them, they don't want them, they haven't paid for them, that they've been made and those coins are going into circulation because they were going in the tills. It's a way of putting them into circulation and making loads and loads and loads and loads of money. So what do you want to call them 10 Ps? Do you want to call them the real thing? Do you want to call them legal tender? Do you want to call them counterfeit? What do you want to call them? Are they copies? Are they counterfeit? What are they? Because they're not. Treasury doesn't, doesn't recognise them. No, nope, they're not for us. We don't want them in our money. We don't want them. We don't recognise them. No good. What are they? Now you find a, a, a more plausible explanation than what I've come up with and you can knock my technical treason right out of the ballpark. There's a challenge for you. Talk about sponsorship challenges. By the way, I'll come to that kind of thing later. I ain't rushing. You know, number one, I don't sponsor anybody that's got slanderous content, so you have to make sure that's gone. And number two, I don't get involved in bidding wars. That's why I don't go to people like Christopher Collects and ask him to be a sponsor. I'll ask to sponsor him because he's all you know he's already got deals with people I ain't gonna go in there and get in a bit more don't get out of anybody I'll go to someone that isn't being sponsored anyway we'll come to that another time we'll talk about it a bit so so am I right or am I wrong if I'm wrong show me how I'm wrong please if I'm right give us a bit of support come on even if you don't like me, throw a fiver into our crowdfunding campaign just for the sheer fact that I'm the one who stood up, stood my ground all the way through this, even whilst you didn't like me, and I've just done you a favour. Because I've now made it more possible for you to find some of these coins. Whereas all the hundreds of thousands or ten, whatever that's gone through there till, you have no chance, zero chance of finding those. Now you have a chance. If that ain't worth a fiver to put into our crowdfunding campaign, well, I don't know what is. We're up to 23 supporters now. Come on, 1,600 quid. Let's get it to two grand. 25 supporters. Let's get a bit more. Come and join us. I've been saying for a long time, I really don't believe that if we go up against the Mint, I don't believe we're going to lose. So what if it's David going up against the Goliath? Sometimes David wins. And with all the evidence I've been throwing at you and all the things I come up with, ain't that worth a couple of quid? I might sound like I'm begging now, perhaps I am. Ain't that worth a couple of quid? Don't let us go. Don't let us go to the wall, get in there now. We need the support now. Everybody needs to see that crowdfunding campaign working. I mean, another, another thought to put on you is, if, if, we, if, if it fails, that's essentially everybody going, well, I don't care what the Mint does. I don't care the Mint fleeces me. I don't care the Mint pulls these strokes. I don't care the Mint makes copies. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care, I don't care. Because we're the only people fighting them. So come on and join us. Come on and give us a go. I'm here. www.thegreatbritishcoinhunt.com I'm a bandit. Thank you.